So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. Um, Inoue and John Roe Casemiro has been made official for April 25th. Um, it's a great fight. It's a great, great fight. I think before I saw John Roe Casemiro fight against um, Zalani Tete, I would have said this was a 90-10 fight. Now I think it's a 70-30 fight in favour of Inoue. I think Inoue is a great fight. I think it's a great that this fight has been made, a unification fight. Um, I think it, it was the right fight to make. I'll do another video right after this, ex breaking down the fight. But I think it's I think it's a great matchup. I think it's between a Japanese and a Filipino. The Filipino fans will get behind their man. Uh, Anuwe is already a massive star uh, in um, Japan, and I think Bob Arum's done the right thing by making this fight. I believe it's in Las Vegas, right? Um, and I think I think Anuwe is hitting United States with a bang, um, and that's what that's what I think. That's that's what I think um, Bob Arum needed to do. I think Bob Arum is in search of stars. We know that his two stars in uh, Lomachenko and uh, Crawford aren't big sellers. Uh, Onuwe definitely has the right style to please the fans and make make this um, make a massive impression on the US fans. Because one thing we do know about Onuwe, he's very exciting. Uh, the way he knocks guys out. Um, the fight that he had with Nanito Dene, in my opinion, was a classic. For me, that was fight of the year last year. I think that was the best fight that we saw last year. I think it was that good. It was one of the best fights I've ever seen. Uh, it had everything. It had heart. It had a new, the, the young man who was favourite getting hurt and coming back showing heart. It had the old man uh, getting hurt and showing a lot of heart. Um, having his moments in the fight. Uh, Anuwe having to get himself out of tough moments and coming out uh, victorious in the end. You know, I think it was just a perfect fight. It was a perfect fight. I think a lot of people did expected Anuwe to just blow Denaire out. That's why after the fight, people were saying, oh, is Anuwe overrated? But it wasn't that. It was just that Denaire is a world-class fighter. And Denaire pushed Anuwe all the way. Uh, I, I do think that Anuwe probably should have got the stoppage. And he was very close to in that 10th round when he hurt Denaire with a body shot. But Denaire, he, had a, he just showed toughness. And I, I feel like... Denaire lost to Frampton. And Denaire lost to... I think he had lost the hunger. I think this... World Boxing Super Series brought in the brought back the hunger of Denaire and Denaire was going into that fight against Anuwe very motivated with a point to prove because many people thought that he would get he would get washed many people thought he would get knocked out in a couple of rounds and that wasn't the case Denaire put up a very valiant effort he came out second best um, but he he was a it was a great performance for a guy at his age uh, which showed that he definitely has still a lot left in the tank that's why i said yesterday that i think denaire and john Rowe casemiro would be a good fight but um i think for the division this is the fight that everyone wants to see and i think it's, it's great that the fight uh, has been made it's been made official for april 25th but i think both parties have agreed to fight so uh, we've got a fight and we're gonna we're gonna have a fantastic fight that's what the main thing is because both guys john Rowe casemiro has a come forward very fan friendly style uh, very strong very tough um he is a guy that's moving up weight is is he going to be able to it's all right okay you beat zelani tete but zelani tete isn't naue anue a lot of you um you know a lot of you are back in your man john Rowe casemiro it's a great fight it's a fight that we need more in boxing a unification fight a fight that we don't really get to see a lot of if i'm honest you know these are the type of fights that get you know that don't get made um, and because they're the smaller guys, um, the smaller guys seem to agree and give us the best fights more often than the than the than the bigger guys. You know, usually the bigger fights because there's more money involved and because there's um, a lot more hype around those fights. It seems like those fights don't get made. The ones that we want to see, for example, Spence Crawford, Joshua Wilder. You know, people have wanted that for years, and it's not not still not happened. Um, here in the UK, an example is Calm Brook. It's th these fights that the fans want to crave, um, that are craving about and really want to see, it just seems like those fights don't get made. Uh, whereas the smaller guys, it seems to me like they come together and just put the fights on. Maybe because the fact that they don't get paid what the bigger guys get paid, whereas those bigger guys can fight X, Y, Z and make a lot of money, whereas these guys have to fight the top guys and fight one another in order to make the big money, which um, the bigger guys have a luxury where they could fight anyone and make still good money uh, whereas these smaller guys don't get, have those opportunities so they have to fight the best and put on the best fights in order to get paid uh, the big bucks unfortunately that's why we probably see the smaller guys uh, jumping into these mega fights right away uh, unlike the bigger guys who have, uh, have so many opportunities and so many other fighters that they can fight for a good amount of money so why risk it 
for more money against top guys. It's not it's not even the fighters because the fighters want to do it. It's more the promoters and uh, sometimes the management. I do think there are promoters like Eddie Hearn who I think are brilliant and want the big fights to happen. But I'm not sure everyone thinks the same way. But it's great. A new way uh, um, Casimero made. Who? What? What do you think, guys? Leave your thoughts. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.